go. This is amazing. It is wonderful to see everyone here today right in Watertown. Ten days from today, we're going to re-elect President Donald Trump. Let's give a big round of applause. In the North Country, we know that this is Trump and this is a lease country, and we are going to elect Republicans all across the ballot, all across New York's 21st Congressional District. <laughs> Today is also the start of early in-person voting, and we want to make sure that we are turning out as many votes as possible during early, early vote. And you can vote right here in Watertown, right that way. It is open till two o'clock today, so if you are registered in Jefferson County, which I know so many of you are, turn out to vote. That means we have votes in the bank and we need to turn out as many as possible. So do you all have a plan to vote? Yeah. Yes, we do. I wanted to thank Mayor Jeff Smith, who does a great job on behalf of the city of Watertown. I want to thank the Republican County Chair, Don Kuhn, for all of his support in making sure that our Republicans are energized. And I also want to give each of my fellow candidates an opportunity to share their message with you. These are partners. We work together every single day. And after they speak, I'm going to talk about what's at stake at the federal level in this election. So I want to start off by recognizing Assemblyman Ken Blankenbush. Come on up, Ken. Thank you, Elise. Uh, I guess I'm one of the lucky ones this time. I don't have an opponent. Uh, so the uh, 117th has me for two more years, whether they like it or not. Uh, you know, th this morning, early this morning, I'm sitting in my chair having a cup of coffee, watching television, and who's being interviewed? Our congresswoman. Uh, it's amazing to me that someone from the North Country uh, get so much, uh, I don't know, accolades from the, from the national uh, media. Someone who, when they're sitting there uh, being interviewed or standing being interviewed, represents us. And I was so proud that I could say, she's my congresswoman. Yeah. Yeah. The, the other thing that, then I opened the paper. And in the paper, it said that 154 North, North, uh, Northern New York farmers have endorsed the lease. Now, I'm, I'm the ranking member on the Agricultural Committee in Albany. And we fight, and we fight in Albany all the time with the other side of the aisle that's trying to push and push things down our farmers. It's, it's so glad that I have on behalf of the North Country. Look at these honks. We're going to win big on Election Day. I also want to recognize Assemblyman Mark Walzik. Mark is also an incredible voice for us in Albany. He stands up for the voters of Jefferson and St. Lawrence County, and we are going to work hard to make sure that he wins big Election Day. We share so many voters, and Mark, you are the watchdog standing up for the taxpayers of Northern New York, standing up as our voice. So come on up, Mark Walzik. I mean, when you get introduced by your congresswoman like that, come on. This is about you guys. This is about absolutely what's gonna happen in the next week is what you do. What you, the, the enthusiasm that you have shown already today, the enthusiasm that we, you will show, you are the leaders that are going to get the Republicans out to vote in this election cycle. It is you standing here waving signs calling five friends, 10 neighbors, making sure that those people who may feel a little disenfranchised understand that their vote absolutely matters. In the next week, telling people about early voting, that they can show up right down the street here to early vote. I actually live right down the street and I saw the line early this morning. There were people standing out in the cold rain because they believe so hard in our representative democracy. And I gotta tell you, yeah. 
it is really cool. Last year, I beat a 10, or two years ago, I beat a 10 year incumbent in a seat that was held by a Democrat for 16 years. We made history, right? That was really cool. I'm even more excited this year to be down ballot from Donald Trump and Elise Stefanik and Mike Young and all of these awesome Republican candidates that are gonna bring my race and everything else across the line. This area is going to go red. Uh, and we're feeling really good about that. representative and embodies our values. He is out there working hard. Uh, I've, I've worked with Mike, Mike for years and he's deeply, deeply well respected by members of his community. So Mike, come on up. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm the secret candidate. There isn't many people talking about the judgeship, but you'll find me on the ballot right behind the president and right in front of Elise. It is a large district. It covers from Syracuse to here, to Lowville, to Herkimer, to Utica. And I need your support. I can't, under the ethical rules, tell you where I stand on things, so all I can do is ask for your help. The problem we always have is that the Republicans in this district, which covers six counties, have always said that we should have judges throughout the district, covering all the areas, so that our standards and our beliefs are reflected in the judicial system. The Democrats on the other side usually pick people out of Syracuse. We don't need every judge to come from there. You look at other districts, such as in Buffalo and Rochester, all the judges, almost every judge in those districts come from the big city. We don't need that, we need to keep what we have, which is to have our views reflected on the bench. And I will do that. I can use your help because the five outlying counties have to outbalance the city and the Onondaga County. So we need to get out and vote for the entire ballot, and I can use your support. Thank you very much. Yeah.